quick video. This is how do you install and run a macro script inside Studio Max. Uh, Max scripts just run. Macro scripts need sort of installing and a bit of massage and customize of the user interface to get them to work. So let's just do um, a macro script, for example. So let's just go here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a turbo smooth. T for turbo smooth. Da, 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 da. Turbo smooth. Yay. Okay. And we're going to go run a max script. Run. Run script. Wait. Hang on. Max script. Run a script. There we go. So we're going to go up to here. We're going to go to those scripts. Go to general scripts. Turbo smooth helper. So you just go and open it. It runs it. it gives you the interface. And then you can then go um, iterations up and down. And da -da 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 disabled. Disabled. So this does a scene wide or selected wide on off. So you can turn off on and off turbo smooth here rather than go into each individual whatever just going on so that's how match script works so let's close that out we don't need that now um so how do we get a macro script installed so what we need to do is go to start up um here's where my macro script is or where you need to put it basically a border fill macro script you'll see it's a macro script not a max script it's different so macro scripts need to go into uh, C drive, program files, Autodesk, Max, blah, 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 whichever you've got, scripts, and your startup folder. That's where you need to go and drop it. Before we go and run it and we'll do the rest of it, we need to know what it's actually called. Currently, you think it's called Borderfill, because we need to go and search for this in the interface. It's not called Borderfill. So always useful to go and check it. How do we check what it is? So if we go to... The utilities panel and go to match script as a thing to play with and we're going to go and uh, open a script and we're going to go and run general scripts no not going to be there we're going to go to scripts uh, startup script border fill and we're going to go and open it so open it oh, did we see that sorry let's go and do that again do we do that off camera I think we did let's go to Open a script. Yeah, we did a lot. I'm an idiot. Open a script here, and then we're going to go run border fill and open it. So that's opened it. If we go to the top of it, you actually get the name of it. So the name of the button is going to be called border fill, hence border fill. But the actual thing we're looking for, the match script we're looking for, is polyop underscore border fill. So we're looking under P for polyop border fill. Just to let you know, always worth looking at. Um, depending on how good the help files are for whatever thing you're looking at, it's probably a good idea just to have a look at the script anyway. So it's polyop underscore border fill. So what we need to do now is go to customize, customize user interface, wait for it to pop up. And we could assign it to a keyboard shortcut. So we could do that. But I mean, I like buttons. So whichever you want. If you want to do a keyboard shortcut, you need to go down here and find it amongst this list, which is alphabetical. Doesn't have a search function in here, which would be nice if it did, but it doesn't. But what I want to do is I don't want to, I don't want to add it to my quad menu. I don't want to add it to the menu interface. I want it to be a toolbar like this guy up here. So hit new, and we're going to call it. Steve, I'll call it Cresshead. Call it Cresshead, hit go. And that gives me a little button here that was going to be called, if actually you make it big enough, it's called Cresshead. Okay. And we're going to go and drop this uh, macro script onto this item. So you need to go and find it. So to scroll on here, select something, and then you can scroll. We need to go down to the, the P's, don't we? There uh, we go, P's. Um, poly, poly up. There you go. Poly up border fills just here. So to create this button, you highlight it, click your left hand mouse button, keep it held down, drag it, drop it. You now got border fill done, and drop it on there. So you now got two border fills. How cool is that? If you want to go and save this, so this remembers this next time. Um, we can close that out. Uh, I need to go to save, don't we? Yeah, you need to go and save your interface. I've got it workspace 01 and 
user save Steve. And I've just hit save. We're not going to resave it because I've already got it. We're going to hit cancel. But you would hit save if you wanted to keep it. Cancel. And then you can close that out. And then all you need to now do is go in here. Let's go to this. Let's just go and throw turbo smooth away. We don't need it. I'm going to go and select some polygons. Uh, I'm going to select some different polygons. Those guys. Let's go and select these. Whoops. I've got it on the select move thing. We don't want to do that. We just want it on selection. Let's just go select these guys. You know what? It's easier, Stephen, if you just do this. Look. Do, do, do. And you just grow it. Hello. Grow. Delete. Be here all day, otherwise, aren't we? We don't do that. We are here all day, but hey. So, how this works is it works in editable poly. It needs to be in sub object mode and uh, invert mode. So, select a point, select another point along that border, and hit border fill. And that basically is how you run your macro script. That's it. When it's a valid thing to use, if I click off it and get rid of this, so currently it's, an, it's a valid object only when I'm in point mode. I'm in point mode. It will tell you that it's working, yeah, it's ready to go. And that is it. So if we go into uh polygons again, we're gonna select that and maybe don't do that, select that and that, and just grow that to there. Okay, and go over to here just to be boring. We go to this guy, we'll select that point, and we'll select that point, and then we'll hit border fill, and that fills the border. And that is basically how to run a macro script, and in this particular instance how to run border fill. And that concludes the video. That's exciting, isn't it? Right. Cup of tea. See you later. Bye.